That's who it is. Uh -huh. Mary J. Blige. I'm about to... What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And today, I'm heading out to Nellis Air Force Base because uh, I got to go. I got to go to commissary, but I also have to uh, check out the military lot, man. We got to do a military lot walk around. If we're in the city, and I don't do that, I feel like I'm shortchanging now. So let's go see what Nellis Air Force Base has to offer. facer cover requirement on post I'm ecstatic <sighs> and yes the military still looks exactly like a, a regular uh, Walmart or Target or anything else it's just you see a lot of people in uniform here I want to see if they got the new iPads. iPad Pro? Nope. I wonder when they're going to be in store. Because that's when I'm going to pick I pick it up here because then that you know, pay any taxes on it. Oh, no crazy sales or deals, huh? Wait a minute. $329. Oh, that's the bootleg iPad. Okay, that's why. All right. I don't see, see any Series X, but this is the first time I've seen several Series S. But this is one of the benefits of buying stuff on post, is you will see the game systems in stock, unlike other places. Got Nintendos for days. Well, it doesn't look like there is much to be desired here today. But we'll take a look at what is here and what is available. Looks like we got a, a little RV with an Alaska plate. Nothing crazy. We got a boat, another RV. We got a 350Z it looks like with a sheet <laughs> over the top. Hey man. You gotta do what you gotta do. They got an FT. They got a couple of decent vehicles out here. Nothing crazy. We'll make this like a bonus video for y'all. But look at this 350Z. Paint actually doesn't look bad. The rims aren't super curb rash. Looks like they had some fix a flat in there. You can see where it's leaking out on the edge. Huh. Yeah. Wonder if the sheet is to cover or to try to keep the heat out, maybe? I don't know. She's a little rough. She's not horrible. You can tell they somebody just tried to recently wax it and they left a lot of wax on the car. But it says new top. Maybe that's why they put a, a thing over it to try to protect the top. Fifty eight hundred bucks is what they're asking for it. Blue Book is 8400 Yeah. I'm sure Blue Book is in probably great condition. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Y'all can see this one. Then we got the Fiat 500. These are crap cars. This is a 2012. It is in good condition for a 2012, though. Uh, they want 4800 for this one. I don't know. That's a crap... I mean, they're crap cars. Everybody knows they're crap cars. But I will be honest, it's in good, really good condition. It looks like it's, you know, car lot ready. Here's something that's more my speed. We got a Chrysler 300 up for sale. 
got nice tint and everything. Wheels and tires look good. Body looks good. Not not a whole bunch of excessive rock chips and stuff. So that's a positive. I'm looking to see. I know they got. I hear the Raptors. They're flying the Raptors out here all day today. I'm trying to see if we can catch one. he gets up but i don't I, they're going low they haven't re they've been going low coming around the mountains and doing touch and goes like you'll hear it it'll be way farther away from where you're hearing it anyways back to this chrysler 300 uh what are they asking for it it's a 2009 chrysler 300 book on it is six to eight so okay up oh, little scuff right there on the rear i got a little nerf where somebody touched the Touch the rear. It's a disabled vet's car, so it's not somebody active. I I like I kind of like this gold. It kind of hits. I don't. There's no door dings, no dents, no massive or bad body damage. You know, it's in really good condition. Huh? They want sixty five hundred for it. You guys can let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. I I got to be honest. It's in really. I mean, I, I see the little scrapes and stuff like this. See that nerf. But this, that little nerf will buff out. That'll come out of that paint. And some of those other scratches on the bumper wood too. Not bad, not bad. We got a, uh, a Ford F250. This is a 2000 F250 4x4 with the 7.3. Oh man, there's their contact information. They got an 843 area code, so they must be uh, from out my way. But look at this right here, man. 2000 F250 4x4. It's a Lariat. 15,000 they want for it. 7.3 liter V8 diesel. Now these these V8s, these 7.3s, are harder and harder to come by. You just don't see them anymore. And the excursions or the trucks, they're just gone. You don't. You just don't find them. And this one is really clean. Oh, and it's got a fifth wheel. Look at this. Fifth wheel on deck. You can put this thing straight to work, man. I like this. It's in pretty decent shape for what it is. If you guys think 15000 is too much, though, you could be, you could be right. <laughs> oh, well. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. And yes, the green monster is still here. And yes, she does look beautifully clean. Yes, she does. Over there looking all sexy and shit. <laughs> I'm going to miss giving that car up. But, which, you guys will see that upcoming video where we uh, go uh, really dive into the Durango Hellcat. Being that they are only going to make a thousand more, if they can work a little bit better numbers for me then i will probably probably do it look at that now this boat is for sale 5250 dollars or best offer 1983 23 foot carver monterey Merc 260 horsepower V8, new boots, impeller, seals, and the outdrive. That's huge. Hull looks good. There's a couple places you could run this boat in Nevada. Not many, man. Not many. But let's see the impeller. Yep. Look at, see if we can take a look at those seals. Yeah, you can tell it was recently done. All right. Fifty-five hundred for a boat. I like it. I like it a lot. Registered in Nevada. Looks like it's good to go. Huh. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Looks like the Thunderbirds are up. And then we got this one, which is kind of like a toy hauler slash car hauler over here. 
2018 Forest River Toy Hauler. They're looking for $35,500. Now, normally I'd be like, okay, I could get that. But then you start seeing stuff like this. There's clearly some damage down here at the bottom. Now, someone will say, oh, that's just tarp. Well, the wood is exposed. That should have been painted or tarred or something. Oh, wow. I was going to say, okay, so someone just put a hitch lock on their thing to try to keep somebody from stealing the trailer. Okay. Well, that's actually a smart idea. Huh. All right. But, yeah, this is, uh, she's a little rough on the exterior, and they want to sell this for 35 grand. Uh, negative. <laughs> That's all I could say. Negative. Negative. It's not happening. Nope. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the military lot walk around out here at Nellis Air Force Base. There's not much out here. You know, every post is not like Fort Bragg or uh, Camp Lejeune or Pendleton or some of the other places you guys have seen me. So, you know, it's not Quantico. There's not as many vehicles for sale. You know, Bragg's probably got one of the biggest resale lots um, that I've seen. So, anywho's, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Which one do you think is the best? I, I personally like the 7.3 liter Ford pickup truck. I just think it was maybe a little bit overpriced. The Chrysler 300 was really nice. And, um, yeah. But I just put this together. You guys will probably get this as a bonus video. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section down below. And, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep it moving. I got stuff to do, and I got to get to the airport. More on that in a little bit. And the one thing I do like about Las Vegas, once the car is clean and it doesn't rain, and it hasn't rained, like, the dust from the desert really hasn't kicked up. So your car, you know, outside of, like, little dust like this, stuff that you're going to get on the rear from just driving which everybody that has a challenger knows exactly what i'm dealing with right now with that i'm going to have to wipe my hands off um the car just stays looking butter man it just does god i really don't want to give her up but i got too many man i got too many